Well, good morning, everybody. It's uh, Wednesday, Thursday morning at nine ten. Well, I've made it to work all right. That's good. I've been out here since six o'clock. I've just had other things to do. I'll be right back. Got to check on something. I burned the brush fire, brush pile, and it's burned down, but I still don't trust it. Uh, let me crank this thing up and let you listen to it again. I, uh, I talked to several people yesterday, and, uh, well, one says it still could be the fuel, one says it's the uh, coal, one said it could be the regulator. Another one said it could be the battery, which I've already replaced. Another one said it could be uh, the stator, the stator. Well, I already tested the stator, and I know it's not not that. It doesn't have an open ground on that nowhere, and it wouldn't run anyway. If if it's anything like the old style bikes, but this is how it sounds. Well, I guess I'll turn the key on, it might work better. I'm not going to rev it up or anything. to do now is to take the fuel tank off and uh, uh, I'm disconnecting the battery right now I don't want no shorts I burned the motorcycle up first dirt bike I ever worked on I left the battery connected to it and the tank shorted out on it and uh, that thing burn up in a heartbeat. But anyway, that's where I'm at so far. Still looking for answers. I'll uh, I'll come back whenever I get the uh, uh, plugs out of it. Talk to you in a little while. Well, I figured I'd let you know what I've got done so far. We've got the tank off. We've got the plugs out. Turn my light off where I learned all the juice out of it. There's the plug that came out of it. Now, I called the dealership where I bought the bike, and they couldn't tell me anything about the bike. They couldn't tell me what the plug gap was. They, uh, online, I read you can't even find these CPR7EA9 uh, plugs. So uh, if I need plugs, I probably have to order them, uh, but uh, they're not burnt or burned up or anything. You can see that plug looks pretty good. I, I haven't cleaned that one yet. I've cleaned this one. Let me see. All right, you can see how good it cleans up. The difference in them. So I'm not sure it's that. Uh, one guy said, if it ain't the plug, it could be the, uh, I did find out this plug. I found out online, the gap sits at eight millimeter. Now that's the same as 32 uh, inches, point, uh, point zero 32. Uh, so I set it at 30, at uh, eight millimeters, eight, no, not eight millimeters, what was it? Uh, Hmm. 
0 0.8 millimeters yeah 0 0.8 millimeters and on on that see that was, would set it at uh, now that's metric that sets it at 30 between 33 and 30 2 4 6 8 10 wait a minute 1 2 that sets it at 33 and it's supposed to be set at 32 so it's a tight 33 8 millimeter is yes. so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with that it's a little bit loose so I'm gonna readjust it I want a tight 8 alright then I'll, set, I'll clean this other plug but I'm gonna go inside double check because one guy online said not to use this type of gauge said to use a feeler gauge know what to do with it. Here it is. He said to use a filler gauge like this. Let's see what the difference is. I don't think there's any difference in it. Uh, okay. 32, 33, okay, 33. Okay, according to this, 33 is the same thing as 34. So, uh, ten, seven. Okay, eight is the same thing on this. It's the same as 20, 20 millimeters. All right. That might be why they said to use it, but that is way too loose. Yeah. All right. Huh. That may be why they said not to use that, not to use this type of round type. It's, I mean, I don't know how accurate it is. I've always used them, never had any trouble with them. But on a motorcycle, you're, uh, your spark can be a little bit further off. I mean, uh, more tedious. I did top a close. I don't know. Dang, that's close. See the difference in it? You just barely see the gap on it. Now this in here I have it reset. Yeah. Let's see what it's set at. It's set. at uh, nine. No, no, I'm sorry. That would be 10. No. See, that's six, six seven, eight. It's set at seven. Okay, it's set right at, at right at eight on that one, but on this one, that can't be right. <laughs> we got the wrong one. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's it for a snug eight. 
That's the same as a 32. All right. Yeah, that looks better. All right. Let's see what this one is. Well, that's the one I had. I messed up. I have to spread it off a little bit. Okay, that's a, a snug 8.80. All right, that's the same as a 32. So, I'll be back in a little bit. Well, hello again. It's Duke. And uh, update on the bike. Uh, this is Thursday, still Thursday. I told you this morning when I started working on it. I pulled the plug out of it. And uh, I pulled plugs out of it. Had to take the fuel tank off to get to them. Tested them. They showed no sign of wear at all. I readjusted them, put them back in, checked the coils, All the, both coils showed up to par, nothing wrong with them. Put it back together, it still ran the same way, spit and sputter, spit and sputter. Well, I gave up, I'd already pulled it apart, pulled the plugs back out of it, and uh, I'd come in. And I was washing my hands to get ready to take a shower and change. And I just happened to think, I forgot about the regulator. So I uh, went back out there, pulled the cover off the regulator, and it was full of oil. But right there on the plug, it's on the where the harness plugs into it. That's the only place where the oil was at. There was no oil on the frame, no oil on the motor. It's not leaking. I thought, well, maybe the oil filter's leaking. It's fine. No oil leaks. Now I may have ran through a, a puddle of oil or something on on the road. Uh, the other day when I was in the doctor, that's because it didn't start until I got down. Let me see. I got down to the stop sign and noticed it spit and sputtered a little bit. And I thought it was because it was still cold because I didn't have time to let it warm up. I usually let it warm up five minutes before I ride it. And I thought, well, it's not because it just I just need to take it easier. Well, by the time I got to the doctor's office, which was about 200 yards, 300 yards at the most. It had no power. It's not run with a flip. And what are you doing? No, you know you're not supposed to beat that. Uh, oh, I'm tired. Uh, but anyway, I pulled it off. I got some uh, electrical contact cleaner. Well, I had some. I ran out of it. I sprayed the contacts on it down, on the regular down, it's right here. Sprayed these contacts down. And uh, sprayed the plug down real good. Sprayed it down with uh, that uh, contact cleaner first. Then I used a uh, uh, brake cleaner, because <laughs> that's all I had left though. Sorry, carburetor cleaner, not brake cleaner, carburetor cleaner. But that's all I had left to clean it with. Biscuit, leave it alone. Uh, I put it back together. 
Excuse me. Come here. Come here. Biscuit. Get up here. There you go. And uh, come over here and sit on Daddy's lap. Come on. There you go. Sit down on Daddy's lap. Uh, I put it back together. Put this back on. And it ran fine. I thought, well, heck, I got it fixed. Well, I finished putting it back together and everything. Put the odometer back on it. And, uh, well, the R.I. had the odometer on it. I just put the cover back on it. I was fishing up. And I had left one screw out of this right here. I don't know if I had, it had anything to do with it because it's got two screws that hold it on and then two screws that hold the cover on. Well, I just put one screw on top of it. I didn't put the bottom one in. I thought, before I put that other boat, there's, it, those, it's so hard to get to. I thought, before I do that, I'm going to crank it up and see if it run again. It went right back to doing it again. So, uh, I'm going to have my wife to stop my home by, uh, uh, by Vast Auto and get me a can of uh, contact cleaner. And uh, spray that on there again, and uh, uh, see if that'll help. Uh, that brake cleaner might have left that brake cleaner. That carburetor cleaner might have left a residue around that will cause it to short out. I don't know. Uh, now, the, what's so funny is that thing has resistor plugs in it. I guess it has a computer somewhere on it, because that's the only time I ever heard them using resistor plugs. Now, this is a fuel injected, so I'm not, I'm not sure. This is the first bike. So I've owned, oh, just one other bike. I had a 1600 uh, Vulcan and it was fuel injected. And I had it for about five years and it never gave me any trouble. And uh, somebody stole that bike. Uh, I uh, had it sitting out here beside the house and uh, we, had, we had just moved here. We hadn't been here very long at all. And uh, I didn't have the key in, but I didn't lock the front end of it either. Well, the next morning I got up and it was gone. They just walked out of the carport and got it. After that, I put up uh, motion lights, security cameras. Uh, I've got motion lights everywhere. My best, my next door neighbor says that when I walk around the backyard at night, he says it lights up like a Christmas tree over here. And that's the way I want to do. I've got lights, security lights on, on my back door, my, my bedroom door, which is uh, French doors. I've got uh, two uh, motion sensor lights, three on one shop, two on the other. And I've got one in the carport, one in front of the house. And I've got two security two security cameras out front and three out back. I mean, there ain't a spot in that backyard that's not covered with security light, security camera. Uh, and I just I just let them run 24/7. Uh, matter of fact, I don't have any trouble. Uh, I did have trouble one time, but getting back to this. Uh, after I bought this bike, I didn't know it was going to be hard to find parts, but uh, the plugs for it are $14 a piece. They must like them, but uh, I'm not going to need any plugs. I don't think it's plugs. I think it's, just, it's going to be this right here. So if I can't fix it with that uh, spray, I'll... Uh,
get another one. It shouldn't be too hard to find this. I think I, uh, I'm not bad mistaken. A 2000. I know a 2006 to 2014 will work on those two on those models. But now I think a 2010 to a 2015 will work on this model. This is a custom. Of course, it's still a 900 engine, but uh, they use them like they use they use the uh, same plugs, same exhaust system, and everything on a 1600 that they do on a 900. So uh, I must have I, I I looked up for oil. So I'm, uh, the only thing I can think of is that I ran through a puddle of oil on the way to the doctor's office, and I'm glad it didn't slide out from under me. Because I had bikes to do that. I had a one thing we used to do when I was a young kid in Tennessee when it would snow. We didn't do it on bike and motorcycles, we did it on bicycles. But we would ride up and down, we would ride, we never got rode up, but we would ride down the hills on bicycles. And uh, we had this one uh, 45 degree angle turn, and we'd see who could make it all the way around that turn without hitting ditch. I don't think anybody did. Because it was about a, I'd say about a 35, 40 grade going downhill. And if you got started good, good speed on that hill, you couldn't slow down. Uh, and you hit that curve, you just slide right over into the ditch. Nobody ever got hurt. One time, me, my oldest brother Joe, my younger brother uh, Doug, my cousin Harry Lee, uh, my brother Charles, he was he's four years old, he was six years older than me. And I know there's more than that. I think Thurman, boy, I went to school was was in with it. But we live we lived that in a small town just outside of Kingsport. It's 15 miles away, approximately 15 miles. And we rode all the way to Kingsport, went to the roller skating rink, turned around, and rode all the way back, and. Uh, That was fun. That was a hell of a lot better than going in the car. I mean, it was a lot more fun riding bicycles than it was. I didn't. I mean, we most time we went, we went in the car. But I think we had fun that time. And you didn't have to worry about getting run over. People watched for you. They just had a kid. Their little kid killed uh, yesterday at sometime yesterday morning or yesterday afternoon here in Mobile.